Hotkeys are probably the most interesting feature and useful feature on your stream deck if you're looking to get really advanced with this. So what do I mean? You can program any hotkey onto a stream deck where you press a button on your stream deck and it can literally do anything on your computer from macros in Photoshop to slicing a video clip in Adobe Premiere to saving a file in your video game to opening a program. Anything that can be programmed to a hotkey can now be programmed to the stream deck. I'll show you how to set that up. And I'm also going to show you hotkey switching. So you can program a single hotkey on your stream deck using this function. You press once, it does one thing. Then you press that same button again and it does another thing, maybe the opposite thing. So in today's tutorial, I'll show you using OBS Studio behind me and the stream deck software, I'll show you how with the press of a button, you can go into studio mode something that doesn't exist in the stream deck, but hotkeys enable it. And I'll also show you how you can press a button with hotkey switch and pause a recording on your OBS studio and then hit it again and unpause the recording as two examples of how this works. It's just let your imagination go wild. Imagine how you can improve your workflow with everything with hotkeys. It's amazing. I know a bunch of video editors that have stream decks and are doing this to save time. Couple prerequisites here. You need to have a stream deck mini, a Stream Deck 15 key or a Stream Deck 32 key. They all work exactly the same software wise. Link in the description below to my Amazon affiliate link. If you don't already own one of these, I own two of them. I love it. You need to get the official Stream Deck software, of course. So go to Algato's website and download the official website software right here. Install it and update your firmware for your Stream Deck. If you don't know how to do those things or if any of that was confusing, and sounded like mumbo jumbo link in the description below to my tutorials playlist for stream deck i'll walk you through the basic setup and installation to where you can get to where we are today programming hotkeys cool with your stream deck software you'll see a section over here called system and this is where all the hotkey magic happens my friends and we're going to start with a regular hotkey today with a little robot symbol right there and so what you're going to do is drag hotkey onto your stream deck on one of the keys and we're going to name this one uh, for, for me today. It's going to be studio mode. It's just an example. So anything on your computer that has a hotkey associated with it, you can program into this. And so what you do is you click the hotkey button right here. And as soon as you type in on your computer, a particular thing, which for me, I have uh, control S, I believe set up as studio mode in OBS. It'll now do anything that's macro to control S. So anything is possible with these regular hotkeys, anything at all in your computer can be turned into a hotkey. So now when I hit uh, the, the studio mode button on my stream deck, look what it does to OBS behind me. It puts it into studio mode. Isn't that amazing? That's not something that's built into the stream deck, but because of hotkeys, I can now do that with the press of a physical button on my stream deck. Then I hit it again and it goes back to regular mode behind me. Let your imagination go wild. That's regular hotkeys. That's just pressing a button and it does one specific hotkey, but hotkey switch may be even more interesting to you guys as a super advanced function. So let me bring in a hotkey switch. And for this one, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna call it pause. So it's a great example. And so in OBS Studio, just the example software behind me, you can start recording and you can stop recording, but did you know that you can pause and unpause recording? And that's an advanced feature of OBS that there's no built-in key in OBS over here that actually does it. You have to do it through a hotkey. So just as an example for inspiration for you guys, um, I've programmed in a couple hotkeys. So control P is how you do hotkey number one. See how you're programming in your hotkeys here and here. And then I've got control U, another hotkey right over here under hotkey two. And what this does is the first press of the hotkey is hotkey one function. And the second press of the hotkey is hotkey two function. And then it goes back and forth between those two. So notice how, as I'm pressing the button, it will change the graphic here on the actual button on your stream deck to let you know what the function is as you're doing it. So watch this. I'm going to start recording in OBS. And now this function that is hidden, or is this teeny tiny little button here in OBS over here, the pause button, I've actually got that on a hotkey now. So now I can press the hotkey. It paused the recording. And now if I want to unpause the recording, I hit it again and it starts the recording again. So the same key can do one function, then the opposite function most likely is what you will want with a hotkey switch. 
just let your imagination go wild on that. Uh, you can do muting and unmuting of various things, pausing and unpausing of various things, uh, having something pop up on the screen or then disappear on the screen with different hotkeys. Let your imagination go wild. The possibilities are endless. This is a really, really incredible productivity tool. Hotkeys with Stream Deck. It's supposed to save you time and make content production and using co your computer more convenient. And that's exactly what it does, in my opinion. So test different things. Think about what you do all the time and consider programming a hotkey for it. And if you'd like me to help you one-on-one -on -one coaching, set up your home studio, your social media strategy, your YouTube channel, etc. I've been doing this for a living for the last 10 years. I built the number one gaming video network in the entire world. And you can now book me for one-on-one -on -one consulting. Just go to my website, awalldigital.com, pick your day, your time, tell me your goals and challenges, and boom, I'm on a video call with you helping you succeed through online broadcasting.